Good morning, and welcome to our third episode of QU Eats. I know nobody tuned in for a weather forecast today, but you're gonna get one anyway. So outside, we have another gloomy, impending doom kind of day to lift our spirits this finals week. Uh, it's gray, there's unidentified precipitation, um, and it's the kind of day that has you um, snoozing your alarm repetitively if you even bother to set one. But you wouldn't be having that problem if you had a breakfast waiting for you, um, like the ones we're about to prep for you today. You'd be out of bed with a hop, skip, and a jump. So we're gonna head back to the kitchen now. Insert sexist punchline here. So here we are back in the kitchen. Um, as college students, we tend to downplay the importance of breakfast to jumpstart our day and to fuel our bodies. Um, and to my disbelief, there's actually people who skip breakfast entirely. And that's a foreign concept to me, because I'm one of those people that wakes up with that voracious appetite, like I just caught, got caught in an avalanche and have been living in an ice glacier for three days. Um, so as you can see here, we have two main components that we're going to focus on for our breakfast items today. And uh, in the amount of time it takes to watch this YouTube video, you could have prepped six breakfasts. So I won't take any more excuses that you simply don't have time. Uh, we're going to begin over here with our eggs. So eggs are one of the most versatile food. There's oodles of ways to prepare them. Today we're just going to focus on three that are very easy, quick, convenient, and can be done in advance. Um, so for our first, uh, first method, we are going to take two eggs. Um, we are personally going to add some chopped green pepper, got it right from the calf, um, so it's accessible for everybody. And, get this out of the way so you can get a better view. Here I have a already greased muffin tin, and we are going to pour half the mixture into both of these. Oh, look at that even pour. I'm no rookie. Um, the oven behind me is preheated to 350 degrees. Uh, like I said, we used green peppers. You can use bacon, you can use cheese, you can personalize them, do whatever you want as long as you're eating breakfast. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and stick these in for 20 minutes. Okay. For option B, um, this is gonna be more uh, geared towards those who don't have access to an oven. Um, eggs can also be made in a microwave, so you really have no excuses for skipping breakfast, no matter what your living accommodations are. So we're going to crack another egg into our bowl. So again, we'll add some green peppers. And all I have here is my girly little orange polka dot mug. Um, so it's already greased again. Um, you want to make sure it's greased so you can get the eggs out easily. And we're going to pop this in the microwave for 60 seconds. Okay, it's really going to be a test of my multitasking skills. Um, so what we're going to do next, very simple one we're all familiar with, but this is a very convenient method um, for grab and go breakfast items, hard boiled eggs. So I have a pot with water already in it sitting behind us on the stove. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop two eggs in here. Don't worry, this isn't boiling yet. That would be a little bit frightening. Um, and we're going to bring it to a rolling boil with the eggs in there. Um, they should be a little bit more covered, actually. Easy fix. Um, we're going to bring it to a rolling boil, and then we're going to turn off the heat and let them sit there for 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how done you like your eggs. Okay. All right. So, like clockwork. Here are our mug eggs. How cool is that? So there you go. It's that easy. Um, we're actually going to leave these in the microwave just so they stay a little bit warm. It will contain some of the heat so we can put it out on our breakfast display after. And while this is all preparing, um, we're going to go ahead and move on to our oat central uh, breakfasts. 
So now we're on to our boots, um, which are a college student's best friend. Now, you don't have to worry about them going bad in your dorm. They're jam-packed with fiber, so what that means is it's going to keep you fuller for longer. So it's a great item to incorporate into your breakfast, um, so you're not as apt to go out and snack a half hour later. I have found um, that oats in my college career, unlike the men, have never let me down. Um, so for our first item, um, very intricate procedure, so you're going to have to watch this one really closely. I have a half a cup of oats measured out for you already. What we're going to do next, dun, dun, dun. measure a half a cup of milk of your choice. I have regular fat-free. Um, this works really well with um, like vanilla soy milk or anything that's flavored, coconut milk. It gives it a nice flavor. We are going to go ahead. You're all like waiting for a chemical reaction. Pour in an equal amount of oats to milk. So we have a half a cup of oats, half a cup of milk. Um, just for sweetness, since we use regular milk and these are unsweetened oats, I'm gonna put in a little dribble of agave. And you can do with these as you please. Um, I was looking at what I already have in my cabinet and I have some shredded uh, organic coconut. So I'm gonna put a couple of flakes. next is going to amaze you. We're going to refrigerate this overnight and in the morning we're going to have nice fluffy overnight oats. Um, so as you can see it's a very simple process but um, if there's someone that's going to argue that you don't have the 120 seconds in the morning it will take you to microwave oats, perfect. They'll already be sitting for you in the refrigerator. I hope everybody gets by now that I was being sarcastic about that being an intricate process. Um, but anywho, we're going to move on to our next oat item. Um, and I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually going to condone you eating cookies for breakfast. Um, and these are very simple to make. Um, so what we're going to do for starts, we have a banana here. We're going to go ahead and mash this. So we have our mashed up bananas. Um, I have another half a cup of oats that's pre-measured. We're gonna go ahead and stir these in. So these are gonna be the main components for our little cookies. Um, I also have some um, dried cranberries that were sitting around. So we'll stir in a couple. these how you like again they're very easy um, I know that I've tried them before putting in peanut butter um, a little bit of cinnamon some honey and I have a cookie sheet all prepared and we're gonna go ahead and drop these onto the cookie sheet So I formed them into little cookie balls um, back to my multitasking this has come to a boil so now we're gonna go ahead Turn that off the heat and let it sit for 10 minutes. Since these aren't going to spread, um, what I'm just going to do is flatten them out into more of a cookie-ish shape. So we can fool our brains into thinking it's a nice sweet treat. Voila. And then we're going to go ahead and bake these for 8 to 10 minutes. At um, same temperature, we have it at 350 degrees. Oh, my little muffins look so fluffy. Okay, um, and for those, again, who don't have access to an oven, we could have gone ahead and put these into greased mugs like we did for our microwaved eggs. Um, I would break it into about two balls um, and then push it down to the bottom. You microwave that for 90 seconds and then just flip it over and you'll have a nice little cookie. And for our grand finale of breakfast, we have an energizing fruit smoothie. So this blender, this little mini blender, cost me $15 at Walmart, lasted me all four years of college. Um, I pre-freeze all of my fruit into Ziploc baggies. Why would I do that? I know it seems a little bit weird. It's a nice little life hack because um, you don't have to keep an ice cube tray stock. And it also keeps your smoothie from having that icy, chunky consistency and makes it nice and creamy. So in this bag, I have pineapple and banana, that's the tropical theme we're going for today to try to counteract um, the cruddy weather that's outside. Okay, 
and that should be sufficient for our fruit. I also have plain Greek yogurt, put a glop of that in. And then just to make it blend nicely, we're gonna put some milk. You can add juice if you prefer. Try that one out. And because I have it, why not? We'll go with the tropical theme and I'm gonna add some shredded coconut. Great source of healthy fats. Okay. Then you can follow me over to the blender. Show you my magic little contraption. We are going to go ahead and I'll put this on the table and I will make our entire breakfast display for you and show you what we concocted today. So there you have it. On this side of our display, we have our egg muffins. Um, you can make a full batch of these. Um, keep them refrigerated, pop them in the microwave for less than 30 seconds before you go and you'll be good to go for the day. Um, we have our little mug egg, our miraculous mug egg. So no excuses, anybody that has a microwave is able to do this. Uh, you don't have to have an oven in your room. Hard boiled eggs, you can make a ton of these, keep them refrigerated over the course of the week, grab and go breakfast. You got your protein in the egg white, you got your healthy fats in the yolk, and you have your good cholesterol. So it's a, all of that is jam packed within one convenient little shell. And over here we have our cookies. The entire batch of these would be the serving size. You're only consuming a half cup of oats, uh, one banana, a couple of craisins. Very healthy option. Um, you can even make little sandwiches out of these. Uh, put peanut butter in the middle. Keep them in a baggie, a Ziploc baggie, and grab them in your morning on your way out. Our overnight oats got a ways to go, but by tomorrow morning they're going to be nice and fluffy. Um, you can eat them chilled. And then last but not least, we have our energizing smoothie. We have it this jam packed with vitamin C. Uh, you got your potassium. Um, and you also have fiber. So it's a really good energizing uh, way to begin your day. So on behalf of QU Eats, thank you for tuning in and good luck on your finals, guys.